Hi everyone, welcome to Monster Maidens. I'm Satine Phoenix and you're about to see my drawings. Um, today I am drawing a blood and um, after looking at the description it kind of looked to me like uh, part armadillo, part um, shark, and part mole. So this character, this monster, it burrows under the ground and it comes up to get some tasty morsels for, to feed its face. And it goes back underground, doesn't go very far, probably just like, um, I don't know, it's like 10 feet or so, but it likes to hang out underground. Um, I gave it like really predatorial eyes and um, big mole claws that kind of stick out to the side. Um, when I was researching the mole, I, I thought this would be a lot better. A lot of the pictures I saw online were really like stegosaurus y, and I mean, that's fine and cool looking and all, but. Uh, just the description, like drawing based off the description rather than based off of what everyone else is drawing. Uh, that's what I decided to do. So this is my interpretation. Still a female, she's got eyelashes on there, pretty claws. <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, looking at the stats, I was, um, it has like two different kinds. There's the regular bullet, which is like level nine, and there's the dire bullet. I kind of wanted to imagine fighting a dire bullock. So I mean, if you're gonna fight one of these things, you might as well fight one of the bigger ones, right? Oh, let's see. Yeah, I can't really see what would instigate this guy getting so upset. They call it the land shark. But, um, and actually, the picture in the monster's manual, it's in the monster manual one, is pretty awesome. So, back to the drawing, you can kind of see where I just did a really quick sketch and then use the strength of the pen and um, texture to really give the detail of what this character was. Is. A lot of shading, a lot of bumps, for like the armadillo scales. And then you have to think about if it's going to be burrowing, what goes first, and like what's the texture of these things. Uh, you know, if it has to burrow through rock, or what if it accidentally burrows through a really dense rock? I'm sure it's not like impervious to every, everything, so um, I put that in my drawing too. Yeah, so this is a really quick one. I'm actually preparing to go to London today. So um, I actually leave in like three hours. <laughs> so I'm making this one a quickie. Hope you guys don't mind. It is my third one. So, you know, I'm learning a lot from this. I really need a new camera. So when I get back, I'm gonna get a new camera. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this. See ya. When I get back, bye.